Prague as European far-right leaders gathered in Prague on Saturday for a two-day conference to unify their stance on immigration and other issues, they were met by throngs of protesters who booed, shouted shame and denounced populism and xenophobia. The members of the European Parliament, including Marine L. E. Pen of France and Geert Wilders of the Netherlands, met as part of the Nationalist Europe of Nations and Freedom Coalition at a heavily fortified hotel just outside the city centre in the Czech Republic, which has seen a rise in far-right politics and nationalist rhetoric. At a news conference, Mr. Wilders, leader of the Dutch Party for Freedom, called on the European Union to adopt more restrictive immigration policies and said the conference would serve to usher in a new era of cooperation among like-minded parties. In 30 or 50 years, the Czech Republic will be surrounded by countries with population where 20% of people will be Muslims. Mr. Wilder said that is as if the Czech Republic became a Gaza Strip. We need to prevent mass migration even if we should build a wall. The conference was hosted by the anti-Islam and anti-immigrant freedom and direct democracy party, known as the SPD. The party emerged as a major force in Czech parliamentary elections in October, winning nearly 11% of the vote. Tomio Okamura, the Czech-Japanese leader of the SPD, said the gathering on Saturday was to demand a reformed European Union based on the tightest possible cooperation of sovereign nations, guided by mutual benefits without any dictate from Brussels, while maintaining free movement of people, good, capital and services. Europe should not be a denationalized state directed by bureaucrats in Brussels, Mr. Okamura said he added that he believed Europe was threatened by the degradation of traditional values and the suppression of patriotism. During the news conference, Mr. Okamura, MSLE Pen and Mr. Wilders accused the bloc of destroying the sovereignty of member states by adopting a mandatory quota for asylum seekers from the Middle East. Because we like Europe, we say that the EU is going to kill her, said M.S. L.E. Pen, president of the National Front and a former French presidential candidate. We are patriots, we defend our sovereignty, she added. The Muslim community in the Czech Republic is between 5,000 and 20,000, or less than 0.02% of the total population. So far, the country has taken in just 12 asylum seekers as part of the European Union quota. The bloc plans to take the Czech Republic, Hungary and Poland to court for failing to accommodate their fair share of refugees under a plan agreed to by the 28-country body. Mr. Wilder said he hoped the Czech capital would keep its doors closed to migrants. As in neighboring Poland and Hungary, anti-immigrant and anti-establishment rhetoric has become a mainstay in politics in the Czech Republic, helping the eccentric billionaire and Eurosceptic Andrei Babis to become prime minister in the last elections. While he is also staunchly against the European Union's migrant quotas, he pledged during his campaign not to cooperate with the far-right groups.